Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Missouri, where JC News Now is quite surprised and a little bit butthurt about the fact that an actual journalist wrote a story on him using words that, well, he really doesn't understand the meaning of to begin with, so it flies right over his damn head. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And so I went there, and I got shoved out. They didn't like me filming in the police station. They followed me in my car, called me names, was filed. None of them would identify. I didn't know it at the time, but the chief come out, and, uh, yeah, it was just a big mess. Anyway, I get up this morning, I'm checking my comments on the video, and it, one of my viewers said, hey, man, they run your story on the front page of the Douglas County Herald. And so I went to Google and I checked it out. And this dude wrote an article and he said, Auditors theoretically have rights. That was the problem I had with it when he said theoretically. It's not a theory. It's a fact. We have rights. Uh, Jimmy Boy, I do believe that your misunderstanding of the word theory and theoretical are at the heart of this issue right here. Because the word theory... It has an entirely different meaning in a scientific context than it does in a colloquial sense. And and in the common or colloquial uh, sense of the word, it is used to mean a guess. But in the scientific measure that I'm sure this guy was referring to in the article, it is a set of facts that uh, are well substantiated facts that have been investigated, verified, and everything like that through intensive scientific rigor and research to explain the ph particular phenomenon. The best way to put it is like this. Say you have a bunch of uh, jumbled up lines of evidence that are like spaghetti. The theory lines those uh, each one of those strands out and you can see the explanation in front of you. All those spaghetti strands are nice and uh, lined up and you can see what each of them have in common with each other and why they are part of the phenomenon as a whole. And the actual scientific uh, use of the word theoretical is pretty much about the same way, but it gets a bit more complex than that. So, JC News Now, you really need to do your research on what you say. Otherwise, you make yourself look like a complete damn idiot. And But you do that every day anyway. So let's continue on, shall we? And I am sorry about the lengthy explanation of the word theory, but uh, it's just one of my pet peeves to see it used improperly with idiots like this. It's something that they drilled into my head at... Uh, at FSU and the other colleges I went to throughout my lifetime. So, let's call the paper. I'm thinking about calling the paper. I'm trying, I'm curious about what I want to say. I've been thinking about this for a little bit. And uh, I, I've got a pretty good mentor, advisor, friend, a dude I admire, and he's the guy that runs AFA. And I like, I like what he's doing. He's run a few of my videos. He's out there constantly fighting for our rights, y'all. And he's a beast. He's the goat, in my opinion. Uh, JC, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but whenever his videos are put to scrutiny, like a lot of other frauditors, uh, he, they tend to be found wanting, lacking the truth as a whole. In fact, there was one incident here recently where... Uh, he ended up accusing this one dude of being a, well, the P-word, and uh, tried to get him into trouble. And there were a lot of your fellow auditors and out of auditor supporters that kind of jumped down his throat about that because he really had no evidence for that to begin with. So, yeah, you're looking up to a moron. Well, I can understand why you're looking up to him because you're a moron yourself and you want to look up to somebody who's a king moron huh him and james freeman <clears throat> anyway uh hi nanner if you're watching uh claudette good to see you anyway he gave me a few uh 
encouraging words to think about. And I thought about it for about 30 seconds. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to call them and I'm going to ask them why they, they ran the story, but they didn't say anything about the chief and about the way he treated me, called me a homophobic slur. And I got it on, on camera and I really lost my temper and I've said some really foul words and I'm trying not to do that anymore. But I want to call them and I want to ask them. I'm going to say, uh, hi, this is, uh, JC. I'm the one that was in, uh, in the police station. I'm the auditor you ran the story about. So here we go. If I can figure out how to work my mom's phone. Bear with me, y'all. You tend to lose your temper quite easily, and it leads to you getting trespassed and, uh, well, arrested quite a bit, dude. I mean, this is an ongoing theme with you, and I'm sure this is what contributed to you ending up in prison for that several year stint the last time you were there, which is a, and it's about to, uh, lead you back in there here shortly i mean you gotta control it dude otherwise it's gonna control you for the rest of your uh existence hi christy my name's my, my name's jc and y'all ran a story on a auditor in the police department and i'm the guy that was there you want to talk a little bit well um i'm just the office manager um the actual editor works in a different office okay uh can you connect me I, well, I can give you her phone number. Okay. Um, she She's a couple hours away from me, so her office number is... Okay, thank you. And um, it'll, when, when they answer, it'll say it's a different newspaper, but she's also the editor of Douglas County Herald, and her name is Kim. All right, all right. And her name's Kim? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. All right, let's try this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Colonel Banner, this is Jill. Hi, Jill. Is Kim in? Yeah, can I ask who's calling? Yeah, this is JC. Okay, hold on. She might be on the other line. Thank you so much. Can I take a message? Well, uh, I'm really going to be really busy today. Uh, she ran a story on me about Douglas County. I'm the auditor that went to the police station. Uh-huh. And I was just wondering if she wanted to ask any questions or I had a couple questions for her. Let me see if I can interrupt her for a second. Cool. You're awesome. Back. Well, while he waits for her, he ends up chatting with his, uh, subscribers for a little bit so let's skip ahead to the next conversation shall we i interrupted her uh but she says she thinks she has all the information she needs oh okay and she did watch your entire video so well i was just curious i was going to ask her if filming the cops was bad and she forgot to mention that the chief called me a faggot and i was wondering well. that's kind of a uh, unbecoming of a cop don't wouldn't you think Oh, you're playing the victim now, huh? It's not like you didn't antagonize the whole situation by, uh, well, acting like a complete jackass throughout the whole thing. I mean, you were belligerent. You were a dumbass. I mean, you were cussing them out from the beginning. I mean, dude, you instigated the whole thing. That's all on video. <laughs> I would say... Um, also, she said that auditors have theoretical rights, and I don't believe that rights are theoretical. I believe they're factual. Uh, once again, dude, uh, you are using a uh, word that you know nothing about, so I would suggest that you pull your head out of your ass, understand that the word theoretical has an entirely different meaning than what you think it does, and look at the article from that perspective, and you will understand what she means by it. So, yeah, you might want to think about educating yourself. And 
I'll make a note of it and tell her. Also, I'm uh, working on another story on that agency, and if she wants a little bit of a scoop, I've got some information for her. Well, let me get your number, and if she needs to, she can get in touch with you. Well, I can give you my email if that's cool. And I was just curious about why she uh, didn't mention any of the chief's foul behavior, but she was just kind of uh, talking about the auditors. Wouldn't you feel that uh, accountability and transparency is very important, especially among police? Well, I'm an office manager, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you're still... I will give her your email address. Yeah, but you're still in the... You're an American, though, and you have rights yeah, just like everybody else. You don't have an opinion? I don't have an opinion. <laughs> All right. Well, I really, really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. And uh, ask her, tell Kim if she wants to have a conversation. I've got a few questions for her, and I've also got a little information if she wants it. Okay. I'll let her know. All right. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's how it works around here. There's your uh, mainstream media, even in a small paper. That's why auditing is important, y'all, because you get the real story. You point a camera, the camera doesn't lie. Uh, I don't force people to act a certain way. None of us do. And there he goes, right into the freaking conspiracy theories. Well, first of all, I can see where you were trying to bait her into giving her opinion. But she is supposed to be, uh, well, in a uh, mainstream media office, as you call it. And uh, guess what? They're journalists. They're supposed to report on the story, not give their opinion on the story, which is something that's lost on you and uh, certain uh, media outlets in this country and other countries. I mean, it's not exactly exclusive to the auditing community, but it certainly is prevalent with uh, you First Amendment frauditors to begin with. I mean, you go into buildings and act like total jackasses to get a response out of people, and you call that news? No, that's not news. That's, uh, well, disorderly conduct a good portion of the time, dude, and uh, you know it, but you're afraid to admit it. You're too much of a coward to even admit that's what it is. All we do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving her nothing. She's just going to have to wait. She'll see it like everybody else. She had a chance to speak. She had a chance to talk to me. I wasn't going to give her anything anyway. Because uh, uh, I've got very little myself. But what I've got is really, really going to be a banger, y'all. It's going to be a banger. Wait until you see what's coming up. I can't really divulge anything right now because I don't want to blow the lid off of it. Well, Microbrain, I'm sure that in your uh, fantasy world that it is the, a life-changing, world-altering event. But I'm sure when it comes to reality, it'll be a complete flop. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?